Baby, I already knew it was going to get thrown out when Clarence Thomas put that shit in that immunity uh, ruling. Y'all know he wrote about the appointment of special counsel being unconstitutional in that uh, ruling regarding Frumpy Dump's immunity. I knew that that was just a dog whistle for Judge Eileen Cannon to go ahead and dismiss this case on those grounds, knowing that if it goes up to the Supreme Court, that they are going to uphold her ruling. So, I mean, should Jack Smith appeal this? I mean, what, what exact, where the hell do they go from there? They already got the signal from the Supreme Court that they're going to uphold this ruling if we go by what uh, Clarence Thomas wrote. I mean, so does this mean that all the appointments for special counsel are unconstitutional? Because if that's the case, they need to go ahead and throw out Hunter Biden's conviction because there was a special counsel in that case. Uh, do, does that mean that the uh, special counsel that investigated President Biden's handling of classified documents, should we take that money back? I mean, what, what, what does this mean? Because it makes absolutely no sense. A special counsel is supposed to be used as a separation of powers. What were they going to say if uh, Merrick Garland had actually investigated uh, this classified documents with uh, Frumpy Dump himself? Oh, is Merrick Garland's investigating? He's uh, he's corrupt. Uh, he's just going. Uh, President Biden appointed him, so he's just going after his op opponent. They say that now anyway, but it would have been worse if Mary Garland was actually investigating the case. I'm not understanding this at all. Like, what was they supposed to do? Just allow this man to just get away with, which is essentially what they've done. At the end of the day, it is rules for thee and not for me. Because if that this is the case, go ahead and throw out Hunter Biden's uh, conviction. Go ahead and get rid of that special counsel report uh, by Robert Earth. Uh, what about why? Why haven't we ever heard of this before? When there have been special counsel appointments, because this happens all the time. But all of a sudden, because it's frumpy dump, then we got to throw it out. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This is literally a banana republic, and this is exactly why we don't need to allow frumpy dump to be in office, because we know that he is going to abuse this. He's doing it right now. He's abusing the conservative Supreme Court for his own reckoning. And this is what we get. In my opinion, Judge Eileen Cannon shouldn't even be on this case because she was appointed by Frumpy Dump. If the truth, let, let the truth be told, she shouldn't even be on this case. She was appointed by Frumpy Dump. Child, you can't make this shit up even if you try.